Brunswick is bracing for a murder trial that will be watched nationwide. More than a year after video of Ahmaud Arbery's death sparked racial justice protests across the country, the fate of three men charged with chasing and killing him will soon be in the hands of a jury. This morning, the Ahmaud Arbery case back in the national spotlight. As the trial for the three men charged in Arbery's murder gets underway, 600 potential jurors summoned to court today, with 400 more on standby. Just 12 jurors will decide the high-profile case that sparked racial justice protests nationwide. Greg and Travis McMichael are facing murder charges for the February 2020 slaying of Arbery. The father and son, who are white, pursued Arbery, who is black, while he was jogging in their neighborhood. William Roddy Bryan, a neighbor who joined the chase and recorded the altercation on his cell phone, is also on trial for murder. Bryan's graphic video is expected to have a starring role in the case, which lawyers for Arbery's family have called a modern-day lynching. This case is going to be a litmus test for where the nation is concerning race relations in the South in particular. This is in a region of the country that still has very present racial demons to grapple with. The McMichaels have said they thought Arbery was a burglar responsible for a string of recent thefts in their area. Travis McMichael's attorney says he shot Arbery in self-defense, while Brian has argued he was just a witness. The three suspects are charged with nine counts each, including malice murder, felony murder, and aggravated assault. All three have pleaded not guilty to state and federal charges. In a statement, Brian's defense attorney, Kevin Goff, telling NBC News, we're confident that we will be able to select a fair and impartial jury. This is the fight of the United States of America. In advance of the trial, Arbery's family and supporters rallied together. The mod was love. He was love. He is love. And through this all, he still loved. This morning, another chapter begins in one of the cases that sparked America's recent reckoning on race. Attorneys tell us that because this is such a large jury pool in such a small community, about one in 50 people here received a summons in this case. They say it could be one to two weeks before the jury is seated. Graphic body camera video from Glynn County Police arriving to the scene after Ahmad Arbery was killed. Greg McMichael, one of the men charged in Arbery's death, describes the moment he first saw Arbery run past his home. I run in the house. I said, Travis, the same guy that broke in the house down there. And who's Travis? My son. Got shot. Okay. I said, come on, let's go. McMichael says he grabbed his gun. Travis McMichael grabbed his shotgun, chasing Arbery for several minutes when their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan, joins. Bryan, who recorded the shooting when it happens, has publicly maintained he was just a witness. But that day, he told police he got involved in the chase. I hollered at them. I said, y'all got him? They got down to the end down there somewhere. I must have passed him that I pulled out of my driveway. I was going to try to block him. Brian questioned if they should have chased him in the first place. A new clip of the video Brian shot, also released today, shows Brian trying to stop Arbery before the deadly confrontation. We run out to stop him to talk to him. Mm -hmm. He took off on him. He never knew. He stopped. He came out of the truck running at us. I told him stop, stop, stop till he hit me. I had nothing to do. I could there's nothing else I can do. Attorneys for the father and son say they acted in self-defense, but family believes Arbery was killed for jogging while black. And they think the McMichaels law enforcement connections delay justice. I do know, Greg. Hey, you know. Uh, what, uh, I knew I would take him down. Yeah, he's going to have the interview. Yeah. Y'all don't put him in cuffs, are you? No, 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 no. Well, what do you mean? Any other weapons or anything on you? Just that. Okay. If he were to stop, this is what I know. That's fine. That's fine. Like I said, just... Take a breath. You're, I, okay. I, I want it done right. <laughs> I got you, so. This doesn't look good. I mean, it just shot me. Last thing I've, last thing I've ever done, I want to do in my life. The third suspect, William Roddy Bryan, told police he started chasing Arbery, too, after seeing Arbery and the McMichaels go past his house. All three men have been charged with first-degree murder, are in jail without bond at this point. They have pleaded not guilty. While the McMichaels claim there had been break-ins in the area, there is no evidence that Ahmad Arbery was ever involved in them. His family attorney says he was just out for an afternoon jog. Attorney Ben Crump, who's representing 
Ahmaud Arbery's family released a statement specifically calling out William Roddy Bryan, saying, quote, the footage clearly documents that Bryan used his truck to block Ahmad from escaping the McMichaels. With the murderous teamwork of Bryan and the McMichaels exposed for the world to see, we are confident that this will bring us one step closer to justice for the Arbery family. Their voices for justice. Supporters gathering in Brunswick, Georgia, ahead of the Ahmad Arbery murder trial starting tomorrow. We don't want anyone to ever forget about Ahmad because his death made plenty and a lot of changes around the world. The 25 year old was shot and killed last year while out jogging, according to his family. Prosecutors say this graphic video, recorded by one of the suspects, shows the unarmed man being chased, trapped, and murdered by three white men Travis McMichael, his father, Gregory, and their neighbor, William Bryan. They deny wrongdoing, saying they thought Arbery was a burglar, even calling 911. I was leaving the neighborhood, and I just called a guy running into a um, house being built two houses down from me. The latest high-profile killing of a black man to go before a jury. This is a trial of three men for one murder, but what do you see as the larger issues at stake here? Well, this case is going to be a litmus test for where the nation is concerning race relations in the South in particular. It's very, very different than the trial that we saw take place in Minnesota for the murder of George Floyd. The case, one the nation will be watching as jury selection starts tomorrow. Jury duty summons sent to a thousand people, far more than usual. 600 of them will appear in court Monday. They'll be whittled down to just 12 jurors and four alternates, a process that could take two weeks or more. You Surveillance video related to the Ahmad Arbery case. This video, taken on December 17th, appears to show a man leaving the house under construction. And I just called a guy running into a um, house being built two houses down from me. Almost two months later, he was spotted in this same house. That incident in February prompted a 911 call from Travis McMichael, who would eventually shoot Arbery. He said he spotted a man on the property. When I turned around and saw him and backed up, he reached into his pocket and ran into the house. So I don't know if he's armed or not. Um, but he looked like he was acting like he was. According to the property's owner, Larry English, nothing was taken. And, he says, the man in the video may not have had bad intentions. In a statement, English's attorney says, this young man may have been coming into the property for water. There is a water source at the dock behind the house, as well as a source near the front. There are dozens of surveillance videos showing people frequently coming in and out of the house, including children. A white couple entered on the day of the shooting. Today, Gregory McMichael's attorney said there is more to this case. Greg McMichael did not commit murder. This is not some sort of hate crime fueled by racism.
Ahmad Ahmaud Arbery's death changed Georgia law. It led to the creation of a hate crime statute and the repeal of the citizen's arrest law. Now, the trial of the three men accused of killing Arbery starts today. And Lee Merritt, one of the attorneys for the Arbery family, says all eyes will be on this case because it's a reflection of race relations in the South. Demonstrators gathered in Brunswick, Georgia, for the Justice for Ahmad march, a day before the beginning of the trial for the men accused of killing Ahmad Arbery. In February of last year, the state says the 25-year-old was out jogging in a Brunswick neighborhood when he was chased by three men, shot and killed. It wasn't until the cell phone video of the confrontation was leaked and nationwide protests that the three men were arrested. Travis McMichael, the shooter, his father, Gregory McMichael, and the man who recorded the video, William Roddy Bryan, were all charged with murder, false imprisonment, and aggravated assault. Body camera footage obtained by our Jacksonville station, WJAX, shows Bryan after Arbery was shot. And I pulled out of my driveway, was going to try to block him. Uh, he was going all around it, and I made a few moves at him, you know, um, and he, he didn't stop. Gregory and Travis McMichael told investigators they thought the 25-year-old was a burglary suspect. The three defendants claim they were justified in chasing Arbery because they suspected him of committing a crime. What do you think just jury should look like? Well, it should reflect the diversity of uh, the Brunswick community uh, near where this crime happened. We spoke to attorney Lee Merritt, who is representing Arbery's mother, Wanda Cooper Jones, in a separate civil case against the three men and others. I want to encourage sort of Brunswick citizens not to uh, self-disqualify themselves. Just because you've heard, it, heard about this case, just because you've developed an opinion of the case, doesn't mean that you can't set that opinion aside and say, I can be fair. And that's the legal standard. The city of Brunswick has closed some roads around the courthouse for the duration of the trial, and we have seen a very heavy police presence here this morning. And also, this jury selection process may take some time, as long as two weeks, because 1,000 people were summoned. The judge has already said that Arbery's past arrests cannot be brought up during this trial. What's your name? Amon. What is it? Amon. Amon? Yeah. I'll tell you why I'm here, man. Why? I'll tell you why I'm why? here. Because this area is known for drug activity. Drug? How to Turn and put your hands on the car. Why? Turn around, put your hands on the car. Up, Turn around, put your hands on the car. I'm checking you for no weapons. Reason. I'm checking you for check, weapons. Check. I'm not searching you. I'm checking you for weapons. All right, ma'am? You don't have any warrants. I know, but you're coming up on me. You make me kind of nervous. Okay? You bother me for nothing. I work at Blue Beacon, bro. You're jumping around, getting a little bit nervous on me. I think I see something plastic in the dray and the thing over here. Go ahead, bro. You can't go in my car. You're not allowing me to search your car? Just don't reach the car, man. Get your hand out of your pocket. Hands out of your pocket. Down. Warning, down. Stay on the ground. Just stay on the ground, okay? Keep your hands out. No, keep I've your checked, hands I've already checked for weapons. I've checked him for weapons. I saw I saw some kind of plastic in there. If it's weed, I don't care. So with that, with that being said, you mind if I just look in your car really quick? Would you be okay with that? You can say no if you, if you don't want us to check your car. Okay. That's all we need, man. Hey guys, y'all come here for a sec. All four of you. What's, what's good? How old are you guys? 15. 15. Huh? 20. 20. You're 17. Y'all have IDs on you? I know you probably don't. Y'all have IDs on you? No. Alright. Tell me about the TV. TV? Mm hmm. What? We don't the, have any TV. Huh? Well, what about the 65 inch TV? Do me a favor, and don't make this hard on yourselves. All of you take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. 
131 dispatch. I've got four on the ground right now. Well, we just got here. Ain't no way she's going to stay already in it there. He's back up. I've got a unit with the college out here with me. What's up, LT? It's that one right there with the fur jacket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's old enough. He's 20. The other, he's 17. These two are 15. They were inside the store, though? Yeah. Okay. We went inside well. And on the patio, riding bikes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, those three trespass. Him's going to be trespass. And we're going to take charge. What we do? What we do? Who's just right looking at the bike? He's trying to roll the TV out. Oh, no, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that don't work, man. I have my thing, bro. Yeah, Stay on the ground. Yeah, where's the TV? The TV, I ain't seen the TV. The TV is where y'all have it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I didn't man, steal no TV. If you'd had a receipt, you'd have no, the TV. I don't steal here. no TV. Where, where's the TV? You don't have to. I didn't steal no TV. Where's the TV? I didn't steal no TV. I didn't steal no TV. I didn't steal no TV. Go ahead. I went to the store. I didn't steal no TV. We're in the parking lot in the area right across from Captain D. What TV? Your TV is in there. I had a receipt, bro. Where's the receipt at? Receipt, bro, receipt. Stay, hey, hey, I didn't stay seated. I got money, You know what? Bro. You know what? I'm not a bro. I want you to lay on your stomach. Lay on your stomach. I'm not laying lay on Lay on your stomach. Lay, lay on your stomach. You're under arrest. Turn the rest for shop Yeah, you have the right to remain You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and have an attorney present during any question. If any time you can't afford an attorney, it won't be provided for your government expense. Knowing and understanding your rights. As I've explained them to you, are you willing to answer any questions without an attorney present? Answer that very wisely. Yes or no? Stand up.